Hi guys, a quick giveaway to tell you about. If you want to win these Michael Smith shot dash, just make sure you subscribe, comment below, and I know all the videos we'll be doing this week, and we'll pick a lucky winner from the comment section next week. Good luck. Luke Humphreys, you are the World Grand Prix champion. How does that sound? Just sum up what it's been like for the last 20 minutes or so. Just say that one more time. <laughs> yeah, it's, it, it's, a, it's a massive emotions you know I, I can't put into words you know I'm lost for words it's it's incredible um, you know you don't really know how it feels when when you finally do it and you know now I do and it you know ex exceeded all expectations you know you dream of these moments to finally go on and, and win a major title when I finally gone and done it um, and that's that's for the people that have, have sat there and said he will be major champion he can do this that's all for you guys because a lot of people out there have touted me and said he can win a world t uh, major title sorry uh, and I've finally done it, so I proved a lot of people right, and a lot of people wrong as well. You guaranteed it the other day, and you stuck true to your word a little bit quicker than maybe you thought. What did I guarantee? You Sorry. guarantee you'd win a major title. Oh <laughs> yes, 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 I did. Yeah. I mean, like I said, I, I knew it was coming, and I think a lot of people knew it was coming. Um, not not in an arrogant yeah. way. I just I, I just knew that I was getting close a lot, and the heartbreak of the World Series finals. As much as it didn't hurt me, it was three darts I missed and then obviously Nathan didn't play his best in the final so you know that in my mind I thought that could have been my first TV title um, and then to bounce back again and finally go on over the line and, and pick it up it was it was some special feeling but like I said to you I, I knew it was coming and I knew it would happen one day but I just didn't know it was going to be this weekend and yeah, yeah I'm really happy about it. You lost the UK Open and obviously we know that hurt. What did you take from that final defeat two years ago going into this final because there anything you could draw from it? Yeah, I mean, it was it was a major fun that I didn't expect to, to reach. To be honest, it, you know, I think I just lost to Paul Lim in the, in the World Championships. Played really poor, and I think I changed my lifestyle. Uh, I lost a lot of weight in the in the three months before the UK Open, and and then I played in it and made the major final, and that really was a shock to me because I don't think anybody else expected it from me. Everyone saw our potential, a couple of quarterfinals in the world, but you know, I think that was that was the stepping stone of my career because after that, you know, I've not looked back. Um, and it obviously, you know, give me a lot of experience. You know, you don't you don't get in major finals every weekend. It doesn't happen off the off the off chance. So, I think it. Looking back now, it really was the start of you know the last two and a half years of have, have really propelled me from that moment. And you know, I, I don't even know off the top of my head, but I've made about twenty twenty five finals since then. So, yeah, it, it was the, it was probably the thing I needed in my career. And that that game in, against Michael in the semi finals of the UK Open, you know, that was the making of me. I think. Well, on Michael, this was his first TV tournament as yeah, well. Yeah. But, and we saw what it did for him. You hoping you, you can emulate Michael and go on and do the same sort of things now? Yeah, he did. He wished me good luck today. You, you know, he, he's, I do like Michael. We got him really well. He, he wished me all the best today. He was hoping I was, you know, going to pick up my first major title because, as much as we're competitors, you know, he, he is a nice guy, very, very nice guy. Michael is, and um, you know, he said to me a lot of the times. Every time he's beat me, he said, you know, you'll win, in the back room. He says, you'll win, one, you'll win a major soon. He, he kept telling me, you'll, you'll win one of these soon. I, I know it. And obviously, he wouldn't have wanted me to win one if he was in the competition, but he wasn't. Um, and you know, he was right. Um, so yeah, at the back of my mind, you know, I knew Michael when he won it. Um, he went on and went on to a free for all, won a lot of things. But I can. Uh, <laughs> um, I'm not going to go on and do what Mark Van Gelman's done. That's, that's never going to happen. I'm, I won't ever dominate the sport. I know that because we're in an era where it's too good. You know, so um, he won his first like this, and I'd be happy with the quarter of his grip because he's he's an unbelievable player. Um, and for me, if I can pick up you know major title every year, which is obviously going to be my goal now, um, I'll, I'll, let, I'll leave the sport in a very happy place. But of course, no one can ever take away from me now that I've finally. I've won a major, um, and, and that's going to live me forever. I didn't want to talk about it beforehand, but now, have you given those selectors a reason not to leave you out of the, the Premier League next year? I, I knew you'd talk about <laughs> it, as long as it's not in the headlines. As long as it's not, <laughs> Luke says Premier League. Um, it's up to them, isn't it? They want me. Uh, no. I think, I, I said it in another interview, you know, they, they probably, as much as it hurt in the time when I didn't get picked last year, uh, this year, sorry, it was probably the right decision. I think they took into consideration that um, I've had a newborn son, and maybe it was a bit too early for me. But you know, I've, Matt, Matt said to me, you know, he rang me up and said, "Look, unfortunately, you're not in." Um, and I, you know, I was accepted it. He said, "You know, go on and prove us wrong. You know, go on and go out this year and 
and show us that you know there's no un, un, no doubt for next year. So you know I, I feel like I've done a, a, a big step for that this year. Um, but of course you know the PDC will make their decision. It's it's nothing down to me. Um, you know I've definitely put my name up there now of course. But you know I, I, was, I love the PDC. They've, they've given me the most incredible career. They've allowed me to earn money that I would never earn in anything else. So you know whatever decision they make it is up to them. But of course you know. I'd love to be in it. Luke, many congratulations as always, mate. Thank you. Luke, just describe the emotion when you landed that one three eight, and also sharing that moment with your family at the end there. Yeah, honestly, <coughs> I, I can't believe that I hit that shot. I really can't because you, you dream of winning major titles, but you, you dream on them just being on a three darts in your round at double sixteen, double eight, double four, and they're, the other person's maybe missed. So to take out such a massive finish, and you know, Gezi wasn't just on a finish, he was on a double. Um, it just made the whole experience better for me. It, it really made the whole like, you know, you see at the end there, my emotions just come out, and they're raw, they're uncut, they're just they're, they're the emotions that you feel, and then you know, Gezi celebrates like he does, but he does it because they're raw. He, he you know, he gets up for it, and you know. It was a shame that the, sometimes the crowds can get on his shoulders sometimes. And he's a, he's a good guy, Gezi. He really is. He's such a lovely guy. And he don't deserve the, 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 you know, the, the booze he gets. And he said it at the end there. He said, you know, well played. He said, unfortunately, he got my back. And, and they did. But, you know, I was just there to play my own game. And um, we both played a fantastic final there, in my opinion. It's been some journey for you over the past few years. You've had to overcome a lot of adversity. You must be immensely proud of what you've achieved today. Yeah, I've, I've, you know, I've not overcome. A lot of people have overcome a lot worse situations than I have. You know, I'm not going to sit here and, and act like I've overcome the most incredible things because you know, what I have overcome is is pretty pretty hard. But of course, you know, there's a lot of people worse off than I am. You know, so you know, it was it was tough in the moments, maybe four or five years ago, whenever it was. But you know, I, li I still live with it to this day. But of course, I, I I channeled it. I worked hard at it and lost a lot of weight. And you know. I, it just shows that you know if you work hard and dedicate yourself, and you know, them two and a half years ago, I lost all that weight. It come down to this moment, you know, because if I didn't, maybe I wouldn't be sitting here a major champion. So, you know, I think that I dedicated my life to this sport and I'm really proud of myself for it. You're going to be around in this sport at the top level for a long time. Do you firmly believe that today is the first of many? Well, I hope I, you know, I hope I'm going to be around in this sport for a long, long time. Um, not too long, but you know, I hope I'm going to be around for a long time. And, yeah, I, I do believe it's the first of many. Um, like I said, it, it's not going to be a dom I'm not going to dominate the sport. You know, all of a sudden, too many good players around. But um, you know, I know I can win a, lo a lot more than I have over the last couple of years. I think it's a couple of couple of titles that maybe got away from me a little bit. But you know, now I've won that first one. It, it opens up the, the floodgates for me to win more. But of course, like I, like I say, I'm not going to go on and, and win all the majors. Now it's just you know trying. It comes down to me taking my chances like I have this weekend and um, I'm hoping that I can I can finish my career in maybe 20 years whenever it will be with, with more than 10 at least for sure thank you thank you Luke barring the one today, <coughs> was there any moment during that match where you thought I've got him I've got this all sewn up never you, you just can't I think you know you, you're playing one of, one of if not the best player this year uh, in the world I think you know people forget how amazingly good he was in the Premier League um, he was fantastic. So, you know, you can't just think you've won the game. If he had took that double out, it would have been another three legs for me. So I'm just I'm happy that I took that one free out because you just don't know where the game could have gone. It, it, I could have lost the game. Um, but I felt really good. And after that first set, I think Wayne said it in my interview with Scott, he said, you didn't panic. I didn't because I felt good. You know, I felt like my, my scoring was there, um, my doubles were there in practice. And, you know, it was just one of them sets where I, I didn't get going. But... That's another one of them scenarios where I'm proud of myself for, for you know for not panicking and, and and playing really well and winning the last uh, winning the five out of the last six sets. You've said throughout this week that you've not quite been at your best. You've just been a few percent off your top game. Mm. You really pulled it out today, though. How proud of you? How you find it under such pressure? Yeah, I, you know, I think it was the same. I don't think he was at his best mm. throughout the whole tournament. Um, and as much as we weren't our brilliant best in the final, I thought we were good. You know, I don't, I don't think we were. You know, our B game there, we were probably pretty close to our A game there. Um, and we, like, he didn't play his best throughout the tournament, and I just, I just had a feeling that we both would would turn up in that final and both, you know, let everything out because you know we we got through the tournament. Uh, I guess I don't think anybody really tested him, and obviously Peter tested me, but you know people weren't testing us, and it got to that final, and we both imploded and, and played some fantastic stuff. So. 
Yeah. You've mentioned the weight loss a couple of times. Do you feel like that's the way the game is going? That's becoming a more important facet of the game. Well, no, I, I just think everyone's different, aren't they? I think you know you don't have to lose weight if you don't want to. Everyone, you know, everyone's obliged to live their life how they want to. For me, um, I wanted to change something because it wasn't working. I used to get fatigued through the day, uh, and I couldn't cope with the long days. And it's, it's been four days on the trot now for me. You know, look, these, are, it's, as much as people don't understand, these are these are hard, long days. You know, you're practicing three or four hours, all your media commitments. Um, you know, it's hard to sleep sometimes after adrenaline filled days like the Peter Wright day I, I really I must have had about five hours sleep because I was just so the adrenaline was so high and then the next day I struggled to match that up again so yeah that I think that's why I say that the um, you know, losing the weight did help me because I, it allows me to, to have that little bit of energy still left in my body to, to go on and perform like I did today which you know four years ago it, I probably would have not been able to Thanks for your time, as thank you Cheers. Luke it's safe to say that that first set was Pretty bad, shall we say? But is that the difference in Luke Humphries now that you had a set like that and then you just roared back and then took the lead for the next two sets? Yeah, we, you know, I just couldn't get going at the start, but I felt good. You know, they were coming at me and right, and you know, they were just sat on the wires to be honest. But um, I didn't let it affect me when I walked off the first break. You know, I still believed that you know it's just one set. You know, it's his throw. Um, it's you know, it's the start. If I let that affect me, then you know, there's only one way the game was going to go, and it was going to be. It was going to be a Gezi win, so um, it was important that I took my chance in the second set because I think I fluffed a few ones in the second set and almost let him back in. Um, but the second and I think it was the second and fourth or second and fifth set, I was I was I, I don't know what the averages were, but I thought I was fantastic and I felt really good up on the stage tonight. I felt really good yesterday actually, but you know maybe I was a little bit edgy because I hadn't made a major final for a long time. But you know tonight I felt the best I'd felt throughout the whole year, uh, f whole year? throughout the whole um, week. Sorry. There was a moment, I think it was the, the fifth set, where you missed four down after double 19. If you'd have won that set, you'd have been 4-1 up. What was going through your mind when Gezi came back and took that set after all those missed starts? Yeah, I, I threw them really <laughs> nice as well, actually. And when they didn't go in, then it, I think we walked... Was that the fifth set? I think it might yeah, have been the Yeah, I think it set. was the fifth set, yeah. So I walked off and thought, you know, that's a, that's a, that's a set I let get away from me there. But like I said, I, I, didn't let it, I didn't let it bother me. I didn't let it panic me. I was in control. It was my throw. Um, and then I, I think I had a good sixth set as well, and you know four two up. I, you know if I knew if I'd have lost that seventh set, it, it still would have been my throw. But of course he's double in; it's not normal. So um, if I couldn't have got in, then he could have gone four all in his sixth throw, and you know who knows what could happen. So I'm really proud of that seventh set, the way I, the way I finished the game off. It's been quite a journey to get to this point. Um, we saw that when when you, you hit the winning double, you went straight over to your parents and you said on social media that your dad is your idol. Just how important have your family been on this journey to reaching this point, lifting a major trophy? Yeah, they're, they're, they're massively important. Obviously, uh, uh, you know, my dad is my idol. You know, anybody can ask me who's your idol. My, no celebrity, no sportsman's my idol. It's my dad because he's the person that um, you know made me the person I am, it allowed me to be this, you know, professional dart player because without him taking me places when I was 13, 14 and 15 and all the heartbreak we went through losing semi-finals in the youth competitions, I wouldn't be here today. So, you know, like I said in my interview on, on Sky Sports, it, it, this, I, I'd love to see this uh, trophy in my front room, but it's, it's going to be in my dad's front room because there's no one more than that deserves it than my dad. Um, so, yeah, I always said to him, my first major title will be, will be yours because he deserves it. And like you say, family is nothing, you know, I've, I've got a major top, but there's nothing more important than family. And, you know, I think they're, they're very proud of me at the moment. And speaking of family, it's not a bad present to take home to your son tomorrow, is it? That's yes, right. <laughs> My son's birthday tomorrow. So, yeah, I think as much as he won't know it, um, his life has changed because his dad's a major champion now in the sport. And, you know, that's quite massive. And it, I would have loved to have had him here, um, as much as he wouldn't have understood what was going on. But I would have loved to have him here. But, of course... You know, I didn't want to upset his sleep rhythm because he, he goes to bed a lot earlier. Um, but he's going to have a very good present. I might have to wrap <laughs> up for him just so he can uh, open that up and see how, how great Dad is. Luke, big, big well done. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Cheers.